Another fun transition that you guys can do is sort of like a soft focus dissolve into a scene. Um, notice we've done this in camera where it's blurry and then it comes into focus. But the, uh, the problem is what if you don't have a camera that can do that sort of uh, lens uh, soft focus look? Um, and or what if you decide in post that you want to do that and you didn't shoot it that way. Um, we can kind of mimic, it won't be as good as it, the in-camera job, but we can kind of mimic that effect in a couple of different ways. So let's first uh, make a new sequence. And I'm just going to select a section of the B-roll. A little bit more, take a step forward, right there. That's a good section. Right there. Too much. Back again. There you go. There we go. That's our section. Now, uh, yes, thank you. Um, now what we want to do is duplicate, well, I'll show you two versions. One version is we could just use the Gaussian Blur tool and animate it where it comes so into focus softly. And then we'll do another version where we do a couple different layers. So let's go to our video filters. And we're going to, oh, glow is also kind of fun to, to do with this. Um, let's use the blur tool. We'll use the Gaussian blur. And I'm going to go to the filters tool. And we're going to start it totally blown out and all blurry like. And now we see here we have uh, the capability to put keyframes on this. So I'm going to start out real blurry and then become not blurry. And I just did that using the pen tool. And I'm going to control and I'm going to smooth this. It'll have a little bit of a nicer effect. And then we can kind of put our, uh, use our Bezier curves a little bit to smooth it any way we want. Let's see how this looks. So that's one way to do it. We can also make it a little slower if we want, if we have some nice slow dramatic music. So that's pretty cool. So we have a couple different options there. Another way to do this, oh and by the way you can also control which channel you put the blur on. So if you put it on luminance you're going to get that effect, which isn't good for so long, but maybe just at the end. You can also put it just on the blue channel, so just the blues get blurred, which is interesting. You know, just the green channel. So they each have some really interesting effects. Oh wait, no, that we want the alpha and RGB. Okay, but another way to do it is to duplicate these layers and put one layer on top of another. So I'm going to Command C, and then I'm going to Shift, bring this up to the second track, and then Command V. Now with the um, we'll put the Gaussian blur on the top track, and I'm going to just blur this out like crazy. Now I can use my pen tool making sure I'm on the toggle clips overlay setting and sort of fade out. It has a different effect. But 
you know, it might be a direction that you want to go. And that it will also have a different effect if you swap these. So if you put the fade in on the bottom, And then what you do is you fade into clearness. That's a different effect too. You can kind of do that. You could also combine it with a additive dissolve at the end. Let's see how this looks. Where's my additive dissolve? There you are. And this can give you that flashy sort of look, which might be cool. That happened a little too late, I think. Let's, if we put it more at the beginning, I think it'll sell it a little bit more. So different, different methods there. Another thing that you can do, oops, let's go this way. Sorry, just let me join through the edit. Um, now what we can do, we can also throw in a, a bloom filter which can, or a glow, yeah, this bloom is really cool. And you can combine it for some really trippy effects. So notice the bloom is gonna just like, give all of that brightness. And again, you can select, oh, oops, sorry, that's the Gaussian blur. Um, you can uh, change all these settings as you wish. And then you can also put like a little, um, a little bit of ramp on it as well. Nope, that was the wrong one. <laughs> I wanted to put it on the bottom one. So you can start with something really trippy like that. Um, dazzle is another good one. Glow, actually. I, you know, just experiment. All of these are can be really, really cool. see what this looks like. And then glow also in conjunction with dazzle can be really cool. So you can get that effect. Um, light rays is also really fun. Let's not put it on both of them, just put it on the bottom one. You could also, you know, put the center over here.
And we can render this, see how it looks. So lots of different ways that you can have fun with these cool effects. And remember, you know, I've been doing the way where you've, you put it on top, but you can also animate it on the single clip. So we can do... Uh, start one at a time before we get crazy. So we can do a little... Um, little animated Gaussian blur. It comes into focus and then we can also use that in conjunction with a bloom. You, I'm, I'm just going to do some crazy stuff here. Let's see what happens. That's pretty cool. And then... Also do the same thing with the glow, putting a fade on it. So lots of different ways that you can kind of mix effects and have a lot of fun with it. So enjoy!